the fuck do you think you are? Interesting breakdown. <laughs> Yeah, hiya guys, um, I put out a video the other day about the podcast wars. Now, um, my breakdown, an introduction. I looked in the comments, Sean Atwood, interesting breakdown. A fucking interesting breakdown. You want to watch my fucking video and come back at me with fucking interesting fucking breakdown? Is that what you've got to say? The fuck do you think you are? Interesting breakdown. <laughs> no, only joking. Thanks for watching, Sean. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the first video, guys. Appreciate Mr. Atman actually watching. I'll be, I'll be taking no sides in this game, right? So don't try and worm me away in, lads. I'm just here to let the public know what's going on in the podcast wars. And I got no bloody favourites. I'm not here to judge. <clears throat> but it's been hell of a week. Got my notes here. Yeah. I've realised I have to take notes to keep up. So what have we had happening this week? Decker. Been a big week for Decker, Heggy. Christ. <clears throat> That's what made me think of that intro, actually. Decker was going absolutely ballistic the other day. What a scary bloke. He wasn't even angry with me. He was talking about some other guy. Somebody in Carlisle, at least. Wants to have a fight with or something. I was fucking shitting myself and I thought, I haven't even done anything wrong. What a scary bloke. You don't want to get on the wrong side of him. But yeah, he was freaking about somebody. Something to do with his expose. Hey. Um, and his trolls. He's been getting loads of grief. and Apparently he was going somewhere to have wanted to fight some guy. Try to get him to send him his address or whatever. It's like... That Greg, he was ever freaking down the camera saying, Griff, send me your address so I can kick your fucking head in. It's like, mate, it's not the way to ask. You're not going to get it. <laughs> fucking scary. But he was going fucking mad. And then he was on the next day apologising to his sub saying, I don't want to be like this. Wears his heart on his fucking considerable sleeve, that lad, fair dues. And, you know, as a former bare knuckle boxer or governor or whatever, you can obviously throw a fucking, throw a punch, but fucking, it was scary watching it. So yeah, nice to see you calm down, Deck, and he come back on, he was saying, oh, sorry, Brat, last night, but he lost it a bit. But then he's been on, uh, well, tonight, I think. I just watched the video tonight, but I saw it anyway. Uh, announcing that he's going to have a documentary made about his life that's going to be on next year. Well, starting the film next year, anyway, it's going to be on Netflix or Amazon Prime. So, what a week for Dagger, bloody Haggy. Good luck with that, Dagger. That'd be very interesting to watch. Living in London, he's having a bloody hell of a week as well. Christ. I mentioned the other day that he'd been uh, probably upset in Jordan McCann. Now he was apologising this week to Jordan McCann. Because apparently the information he was giving out about Jordan McCann come back was not accurate. Living in London apparently was given this information about what had happened by, uh, to Jordan McCann by Liam Ditchie, uh, a.k.a., what do they call him? Snitchy Bumberclat. That's what some of his, you know, people who aren't his friends call him. Um, and living in London was saying, oh, well, he told me. And then uh, Liam Ditchie made a video. Didn't watch all of it, I watched quite a lot of it. Basically saying... Living in London, I didn't bloody say that. What was that? What are you on about, man? But then, uh, hadn't been a lot coming out of the Living in London podcast this week since, and, or uh, well, from his channel. But apparently, he's not very well now, he's ill. So, he put out an old video earlier, uh, one of his old videos of when he was uh, in a shop and some woman was getting arrested for shoplifting. And, he was there sort of defending her honour. So he put that out instead today. So he's obviously too old to make videos, but trying to keep the content regular, you know, even if it is being repeated. So, yeah, strange week for living in London. Um, I worry about that, lad. You know, I'm not about this life, but I'm not 100% sure he is either. So get well soon, though. He's obviously 
I don't think I've got flu. I've been a bit sort of fluey myself this week. What else has been happening yet? Oh, Darren G started off a 15 grand GoFundMe. Um, so if you go to his page, if you want to donate you know, to that, all the details will be there. I think he's just looking to get himself set up, really, you know, with a home and get his business up and running. Um, I was watching one of his lives the other day, thoroughly entertaining. I actually made a small donation myself. Um, he was doing a bit of karaoke. Sort of, uh, he was playing some music and then freestyling some lyrics along. There's an interesting one about, uh, was it the Brothers in Arms he sang one? It was like an ode to Snitchy Bumba Clat. So those two, they don't like each other at all. Snitchy don't like living in London now. Um, you know, lads, you're all out of jail now, come on. War is over. Or at least it should be. But yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed uh, Darren G's live the other day. It was about 11 o'clock at night. There was about six, seven, over 700 people in one night and about five, 600 at night. Now, whatever you do, if you're any sort of an artist or whatever, if you can get a thousand loyal fans who like what you do, you're laughing. That's all you need, a thousand true followers. Um... You could do anything with that, whether it be make music, um, start a cult, uh, or have a channel. You know, a thousand fans, well, give me a fiver a month, five grand, £1,200 a week for doing this shit. Count me in. Um, yeah, so yeah, I've been enjoying Darren's work this week. Um, a lot of people don't seem to like him, but I do think that he's possibly one of the guys who's going to uh, actually make something out of this. Because he's not really a one-trick pony, you know. He's got his artwork now. He does a bit of singing. He's got, you know, a backstory that uh, you can't buy. You know, he, he's real, but obviously, you know, he's... Uh, He's out there, but yeah, I sort of like him. Uh, Marvin Herbert, I haven't seen much of him lately, um, but I did notice that, yeah, somebody interviewed him, but then Marvin put it on his own channel, so he's on his own channel being interviewed. I did try watching it, but it was a bit tricky because Marvin was mic'd up, but the person interviewing him wasn't. So you could only hear Marvin, you couldn't hear the questions. So I struggled a bit with that. So, uh, yeah, word of advice to any podcasters, if you're doing an interview, might get both people really in it. And, uh, yeah, that's been about it really this week, uh, you know. I haven't been watching too much of the action, but yeah, Dak, as I say, Dak has had a big week. Lost his head, went a bit flipping crazy. Uh, he was going to kill some guy on Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday, he was saying sorry to his, his followers for, for freaking out. And um, and then just now, then, he's having a documentary made that's going to be on Netflix or Amazon Prime. So it just goes to show, and it keep chipping away, keep putting the work in. Who knows where it leads. And, uh, yeah, and I just went to watch Fighting Trolls. He does some nice lives, quite funny. But I went there literally just now, it's Saturday night when I'm recording this. I went there just now to see what he was up to. And he had about eight people on the live at the same time. And you look at the screen, it just looked like some weird episode of University Challenge. Or Universally Challenged. Um, but there was just eight guys there, about six of them talking at the same time. Now, I don't know if you've ever heard a podcast where two people are talking at the same time. It, it, you can't hear it, you know. So I couldn't watch that for too long. Anyway, but just a quick catch-up, just to let you know what to look out for. Look out for Decker's uh, documentary on Netflix or Amazon Prime. I don't know if Decker hasn't decided where it's going to go yet or the people making it. I don't know. 
yeah, living in London, I hope you get well soon. Obviously, he's a bit ill, so you haven't been able to make any new content. Yeah, Decker, calm down. I know you wanted to go and have a square go with that lad, but, you know, violence isn't the answer now. Not at this stage of the game. I think, you know, what I'm here to do is broker peace between everybody, yeah? So hopefully all of these guys in the podcast wars will watch this. And this can be some sort of peaceful meeting point, yeah, where we can all come together, squashing beef and ting. Thanks, guys. See you next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>